Welcome to the final section in the indoor mat tutorial. Step 4, back in the upload tool, is where we upload the indoor map we just created with QGIS. Make sure you have selected all the buildings that you need to contain your indoor map, then click on the Upload Indoor Map button, then drag your zip file into the upload area. Our map is built successfully and we can now view and review it. If your map submission has any errors, we'll try to give you clear feedback to help you resubmit successfully next time. Don't worry if you don't get it right first time. You can submit new versions or updates as often as necessary. You can contact our support team for assistance if you need to. Clicking on the Here link allows us to view our new indoor map. Step 5 shows you a list of suggested checkpoints that are worth reviewing before you proceed. Coverage trees are a form of configuration for world maps. You can now use the coverage tree URLs to include your indoor map in a map that you can share. Let's copy the web manifest address. Then open the map design homepage in a new browser to create a new map. Once we set the map's open and position to complement our indoor map location, we can open the JSON editor and paste the manifest into the Web Coverage Tree Manifest URL field. Let's repeat this for the Mobile Coverage Tree Manifest. Back in Indoor Map Upload tool, copy the mobile URL and in Map Designer, we'll paste this into the Coverage Tree Manifest URL field. Copying the Map URL in Map Designer now gives us a link that we can use to show our indoor map with others. Back in the Indoor Upload tool, the final step is to make our map public. Selecting the Make Map Public option will open the form to submit your map for review before we make it public. You can of course start to add places or extend your indoor map using our APIs while you wait for confirmation that your map is public. Congratulations, you have successfully created your indoor map and this can now be used on your website or mobile application for a greater and more immersive experience. Here at World, we always welcome feedback, so please drop us a line to let us know how you are using your 3D indoor map, how you found the tutorial videos, or if you have a great idea using our world that you'd like to share. Enjoy your world experience.